I am Stefan, the cowboy from here, from, from the Angeralm, near by the Cavendel house. And I have found new friends, but no cow. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We just had our first night at Carwindle House, first night in the mountains. How do you like it? I really liked it. The sleeping um, sleeping rooms were all wood, so it was a really cozy feeling. It's and like sleeping in a sauna. You <laughs> yeah, it was like sleeping in a sauna. I felt a bit like that. Yeah, for and me it was a little bit colder than expected, to be honest. So this night I will be uh, yeah using my sleeping bag liner as well. Yeah, I wore all my thermal clothes, so I was completely warm. <laughs> <laughs> I was like sleeping burrito, oh. so that's cool. Yeah. And now we're going for a nice breakfast and some hot coffee. We're on our way again. We're going to the Falkhutter right now. Behind us you see the car rental house. That's where we stayed last night. And now we're going for a nine kilometer walk. Yeah, nine kilometers. First part is downhill. Last bit is uphill. And it should take about five hours, so we can take it really slow today. Just how we like it. Little bit of hiking, little bit of shooting videos. Some snacks, maybe. Mrs. Alet, how are your legs feeling today? They're feeling fine. Yesterday when I arrived in the hut, I was like, oh snap, <laughs> I feel my calves, but now they're feeling fine. Like they need to warm up a little bit, so we need to start hiking, but I'm really excited for today. We are going to the Falcon Hut today. So we were flying with the drone and all of a sudden like a guy runs towards us and says something in German that we didn't understand. Yeah, he looked a bit like a cowboy, he even had like purple glitters on his arm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a cool experience because we thought, oh, we can't fly the drone here. But then he came to us and talked in a little bit like uh, German, German English, like we need to find a cow. Can you help us with the drone? So we flew around the whole area looking for the cow. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Also, I am Stefan, the cowboy from here, from, from the Angeralm, near by the Cavendel house. And I have found new friends, but no cow. <laughs> but the friend behind the camera, uh, what's the name? Dane. Uh, Dane and Alette. Was the very best helper for me because they were flying with the drone to look in this area about a little gray, gray cow, but we cannot find this and now I have to go. But it, it was a very super famous help. Oh, poor Stefan, I hope, Stefan. Stefan. <laughs> I hope he finds this cow again. It's still a little cow, but he couldn't find it, so. It was really nice yeah. to meet you, Stefan. And everybody will put a link for his website. He's an artist as well. There you can see me driving with a guitar on the skis and buckle amplifier and I go through the snow with sound.
we're now halfway through the hike for today and look at this insane view it's just gorgeous right yeah. yeah it's in the middle of a valley beautiful valley all green and a couple of trees and there's like like two wooden houses but i don't think people live there so for today we have five more kilometers to go to the falconhutte and that's a really steep climb i think yes it will be <laughs> because we declined a lot <laughs> on the first yeah. half so i think we have to climb a lot as well to the hut. Yeah. So last spring this was a really big river because of the mountain snow and if you look really closely you can see that our path continues over there so we have to find a way to cross this river. Empty river crossing. <laughs> Come on, boy. We made it across. It wasn't actually that hard. It looked like way more adventurous than it was. <laughs> but we made it. there is where we started today and we walked all the way down and up here we have one more kilometer to go so not very long the last bit is like on a dirt road so it's easy walking so I think like 45 minutes and we're there yes yes <laughs> it's good training mm -hmm. really good training We are really surrounded by beautiful mountains, all really high peaks and we're in the middle of a green field. It's really pretty. Right Aletje? Yes. Pretty pretty. <laughs> That climb was a little bit tougher than expected, to be honest. <laughs> we have a couple of more uh, minutes to go and then we're there. I think it's just on the end. There's some over there. I think behind the tree lines. I think behind the tree lines. So if you're doing this trek, the last bit is really tough, but really beautiful and we like it. So the last part, you walk from down there, all the way up here, pretty steep, really cool. Are we almost there, Alet? Yes, it almost feels like a victory. I can see like the upper top of the Valkyrte, right there behind me. It's the same color as the, as the wall of the mountain, so I think you can't see it, but 
almost, almost there. So we're now in the room. This is the lager where we will stay this night. Those two beds are ours. And look what a view we have when we wake up. <laughs>